Hi everyone, I'm Kelly Schaffner. Welcome to my channel. I am really so very happy to see you today, guys. I have been MIA. If you want to know why, stick around to the end of the video. I'll give you a little life update if you are interested. I know most of you are here just to see the clothes, and today I'm going to share with you all of the clothes. <laughs> They're all behind me. And I also have a basket right next to me. I'm going to try to speed right through this. I picked up all of the items I'm going to share with you today. Day at the Goodwill Outlet Bins in Tucson, Arizona. And this is it, guys. This is the last video in this really big haul. I brought home 180 pieces, and I have listed to date 160. Actually, it's 159 pieces. I have this one dress right here. <laughs> Little girl's dress by Crew Cuts. So that's J. Crew. Let me share with you. Oh, the lights are so bright. You see that? J. Crew, Crew Cuts. What size is this one? This one's a size 14. This was so pretty. It's a cotton dress with a silver ribbon detail. Does have a uh, underskirt underneath. I thought this was so cute. I did not want to leave it behind. And guys, this had color bleed all over it. When I picked this up in the bins, I knew it was going to be a project and I took it on anyway. It took me a while to get to it. It was so easy to restore back to its regular glory. Now, once I did all of that, I got it steamed and I did notice that it does have a button and loop closure in the back, a little keyhole back, and the loop is broken. That is going to require a couple stitches, which I will happily do. And once I get this dress listed, I will have listed 160 items from the haul I picked up in Tucson. But okay, here's why I wanna talk about the numbers. When I originally sorted out my haul, I had 180 pieces that I thought I was going to be able to list to sell. Well, there were some flawed items, some stained items that I just wasn't able to list for sale. There was also some pieces I decided to keep for myself. It was 20 pieces, guys. Out of 180 pieces, only 160 pieces made it into my Poshmark closet. So the cost of goods fluctuated until the entire haul is processed, which it's processed. So now I know that my cost of goods, the number that is going on my spreadsheet is $1.26. So that's it. That is the final cost. Now there are some items that I did pick up at the bins and I had no intention of ever listing those items to sell in my Poshmark closet or eBay store. I planned on taking those items to the buy sell trade store. I am really, really new to the buy sell trade game. I have been taking items stale inventory to the buy sell trade store, but now I have actually thrifted some pieces to try to sell at the buy sell trade store. Actually, I want to trade. I'm hoping to get credit and that video will be coming up very soon if you want to see the items I picked up in Arizona specifically for buy sell trade. Make sure that you're subscribed. Give the video a thumbs up while you're at it. Subscribe and join me for another video. We're gonna jump right in, guys. I'm gonna start with this bin right here. And one of the things I wanted to share with you today is all of the pieces that I would not pay regular thrift store prices for. There's a lot of items in this haul and all of the preceding hauls that I would only buy at a super cost of goods like you get at the bins. And by the way, the Tucson bins are $1.69 per pound. Now, this item, guys, I don't know if I would have purchased this at a regular thrift store for five or six dollars but at the bins there was no question i love this piece so much i might purchase it for myself this is soft surroundings this is actually a tunic top i was curious if maybe it was a, a cover-up like a bathing suit cover-up i think it could be worn that way but this is just a really nice blue floral tunic top by soft surroundings that is a brand that does very well for me in the larger sizes and if the item is kind of special i i pick soft surroundings up at the bins almost always but not at the regular thrift store next piece is a 100 percent linen top it does have a nice little ruffle almost a bell sleeve a high low 
hemline on it. This one is oversized, I believe. This is a size large. This is a Bryn Walker size large. And you know what? If you ever find this Bryn Walker, the size tag is right under the label. And I tell you that because I didn't know that. And the first Bryn Walker piece that I sold, I didn't know the size was there. So I guessed the size and I was wrong. And the buyer opened a case and she actually took a picture of the size tag. So that's how I found out, right? We live, we learn, and this is a great brand, Bryn Walker, and I would definitely pick this up at the thrift store. This brand does pretty well on Poshmark. Okay, next up is a little tank top, a shell. It does have a high-low hemline on it. It is super basic. I would only pick this up at the bins. And you guys, I'm questioning myself. I don't even know if this is a good pickup for the bins. The fabric tag is missing off of this one. It's a size large Pleone, which is sold at Nordstrom's. Um, it's just, it's so basic. I think I have this one listed for $18. I'm hoping to make $10, hopefully. I don't normally pick up a lot of tank tops anywhere because the return is pretty low. But I mean, I found that one, I brought it home. I'm gonna try to give it a go. Isn't this cute, guys? I could not pass up this top. And this is a brand I have never sold before. I have it buttoned all the way to the top because I want it to maintain its shape for when it arrives to its new owner. Victoria Jones Woman. This is a plus size, but I believe this is vintage as well because it is a paper tag right here, but the size is actually worn off. So I did have to measure, measure this one and guess on it. I bought this because I think it is a lovely print. Beautiful colors. We're going into that season where everyone wants to wear lighter colors, right? Okay, this next piece is, this is a long tunic top with a short sleeve on it. This one is Michael Michael Kors and the size is on the fabric tag. This is a 2X and if you can see on the bottom, there, there is a little tie detail on the side. I think this would be a great top to wear with a pair of leggings. So yeah, this is a brand, Michael Michael Kors and Michael Kors that I only pick up at the bins. This brand does okay for me. I am still able to move Michael Kors. It just doesn't sell at a high price point. So I do like finding it at the bins, especially in a great size like a 2X. This next top, you guys, who is it? You can tell just by looking, right? If you are familiar with this brand, you know right away who this is. This is Logo, Lori Goldstein. This is a size large. This is a brand I would only pick up at the bins because I've learned by experience I have purchased this brand and tops very similar to this. They're like tunic tops, but they always have kind of a fun detail on them. Uh, this brand doesn't sell for very much. And I have had to hold on to logo pieces because I paid too much for them and they just sat in my closet for too long. If you price the logo at, at a good price, it will sell quickly, but... That's why I wouldn't pay much for it, but I'll always pick it up at the bins if it's in good condition, especially in those larger sizes. If you've been following me, you know how much I really want to add larger sizes to my Poshmark closet. I really like this top. This is a linen blend. Now, this is a Walmart brand, Terra and Sky. I think it's a 1X, right? Linen blend and kind of a raspberry pink top. It's uh, like a baby doll. A strapless top. I think this one is really pretty. I didn't want to leave it behind. I am not afraid to pick up really cute Walmart pieces when I find them at the bins. I'm able to sell them. They don't sell for a high price point because they didn't originally sell for a high price point. But guys, I am struggling to find plus size clothing in great brands that are really cute that people want to buy. If you 
have honed in on the plus size niche, please let me know what brands you are drawn to that have sold well for you because I'm struggling and I really want to add more plus sizes to my closet. I'll tell you why. Do you know what the average American woman's dress size is? It's a size 16 to 18. So I am missing out on a great big audience if I'm not able to provide product for the average American woman. You know what I'm saying? I do feel like I find more plus size items when I'm shopping at the bins as compared to my regular thrift stores, but I'm still, I'm not finding the variety that I would like to find. If you have any helpful tips, please leave them in the comments because I want to hear about them and I'm sure other people would also like to know your tips and tricks for sourcing great plus size. All right, here is a plus size piece I was so excited to find. This is just a little popover. It's almost like a seafoam green. It does have a little print on it, and it does have an elasticized cuff. It is kind of sheer. I think if I was going to wear this, I would definitely wear a cami under it. You can see it does lace up the front, the neckline there. This is Ariat. I have never sold Ariat clothing before. I have very good luck with Ariat uh, boots. So when I found this piece, you know I wanted to bring it home. Now guys, this is one of those that had a flaw in it. I don't know if I'll be able to find it to share it with you. But I didn't notice it until I was photographing and that was it does have a pull on one of the sleeves right around the cuff. So I did photograph that and note it in my listing. But I think this top is really cute. The snag is it's barely visible, so I think someone might not mind it. And I wanted to give Ariat a try in something other than the boots, um, so I like this top. This is what I was kind of considering keeping for myself. This is Lane Bryant. It's a size 14, 16, and it does have tags. That's a partial tag. Someone ripped that new tag in half, but it is a brand new top. And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. There is an ombre effect around the neckline, almost like a sunburst effect. This one feels so nice. And it was new a tag, so that makes it even better, but I really like these colors and this style for spring. This next piece is Free People. It's a size small, and I found a lot of Free People while I was there. And most of it is like old style free people. I did find, I think I found a modeled photo for this. I can't remember if this is a dress or a tunic. I think it's a tunic. Uh, it does have some pockets in it. It does have kind of a bohemian vibe to it. It looks like this. These are ribbon straps and so yeah, I do pick up free people at the bins. It tends to be older. I feel like I don't find a whole lot of uh, newer styles at the bins, but, but you know, I'll take what I can get. Okay, this is Forever 21. I thought it was just too cute to leave behind. Um, I don't normally pick up Forever 21 anywhere, not even at the bins, but I did decide to pick up this. Uh, this is a uh, top, guys, and it has ties. That, so you tie those at your shoulder. It does have some elastic smocking on the back. It's Forever 21 and it is a size large. It's also fully lined. It does have some boning in the top of it as well as that silicone strip to help keep your top in place. I thought this was really cute and it has received attention in my Poshmark closet. Now, if I'm not able to move this, I didn't even price it high, but if I'm not able to sell it, I will take it to the buy, sell, trade store. I feel confident they would accept that, but I also feel like I can sell it. Did I mention that there's no order to this haul? I really, I should plan things out better, but this is an exciting piece. I was happy to find this piece, Citron of Santa Monica. This one is a size small. I've only found this brand twice before and that was in plus size and one of them sold very quickly. Uh, this is 100% silk and these muted like taupe and blue color. This is so pretty. 
and I couldn't believe I found it at the bins. But why wouldn't you find it at the bins, right? I find some really great things, guys. I have found Gucci and Burberry and Brahmin. I have found some of my best finds have been at the bins. I don't know, maybe because they were raw donations, but I also think perhaps Goodwill just had the items priced too high. You know what I'm talking about if you thrift Goodwill. Okay, this next top, guys, I picked this up because I love it. I think it is so beautiful. Look at this. It's kind of a icy blue color, sleeveless button front top, perfect to wear under a blazer to the office. This is like the oldest Ann Taylor tag I have ever seen. What size is it? A size, size eight, and it is 100% silk. Now, it did have a dry cleaning tag on it, so this was freshly dry cleaned before it was donated. I think someone's going to want this. I couldn't leave it behind. It is in perfect condition. And I personally, if it fit me, I would wear it. So that's often a gauge as to if I would pick something up. No, I would not have picked that one up in the thrift store, would you? And here's another tank top. You already know how I feel about tank tops, but we're going into the right season. This is Bowden, and this is a good size too, a US size 12. Really beautiful colors. I love these colors for the springtime, that little ruffle detail. This is like a cotton spandex blend. So, okay, and then there's items like this one. Um, that I just could not leave behind. This is a little crop top that has the zip front detail on it. This is BCBG Max Azria. I think this is a size small. Yeah, it's a small size too. Guys, I would have worn this in the early 90s and so I had to bring it home. Now, I have sold BCBG Max Azria on Poshmark before, but this is a brand that does pretty well on thread up. So if I'm not able to sell this cute little crop top, I'm guessing that this probably had a matching skirt or a bottom of some sort. All I have is the top, so I'm going to try to sell it. And like I said, if I'm not able to sell it on Poshmark, I will send it on to thread up. I think I'm always thinking about my plan B. Plan B on this one is my husband keeps it. He saw this one and he wanted it for himself. I mean, it's not the right season, but this is Christmas Vacation National Lampoon. This is a size extra large. I listed this in the women's market on Poshmark. I should probably put it on the men's closet. I'll tell you what, my husband likes this movie way more than I like this movie. When he saw this t-shirt, he really wanted it for himself. And next up is another Michael, Michael Kors. This is a size large. Look at those sequins. It has clear sequins on the entire front. The back does not have sequins on it, but it's a real boxy cut, really boxy cut top. Um, it's kind of cute. And like I said, price Michael Kors, Michael, Michael Kors. Price it right and it will sell. This is one, sorry guys, you look at the top of my head. Okay, this piece, guys, let me just share it with you. I don't know if I would have brought this home. I, I Honestly, I can't tell you. I'll tell you why I brought it home. You see that new tags right there, right? It's kind of got this grandma collar, button front, almost a ditzy floral, maybe not. It's just got an unusual print on it, ruffle around the collar there, new with tag. It's I or one Madeline. This is a size medium. Let me tell you why I brought this home. This actually had a Buffalo Exchange tag on it. I removed that tag and I left the original tag on it, but I thought, okay, if Buffalo Exchange accepted this, then maybe I can sell it. Maybe this is kind of a granny core piece that someone might be looking for. Guys, this is the first piece I've ever found at the bins that had a Buffalo Exchange tag on it. I have found pieces at the bins that had consignment store tags, Goodwill tags, of course, but never Buffalo Exchange. Did you know that the very first Buffalo Exchange ever in the history of the world, it was started in Tucson, Arizona. The next time I go to Tucson, I want to check out the Buffalo Exchange. That's why I got that piece. I'll let you know how it does. Next up is another Michael, Michael Kors. This one's a size small. 
Michael Michael Kors size small. This is just a polyester pop over top with that lace front detail and a ruffle. It's almost sleeveless, but it does have a ruffle detail on it. It's in perfect condition, size small. Okay, this one, guys, is a brand I've never tried before, I've never found before. This is W118 by Walter Baker. It's a tank top. <laughs> It is a tank top. It's not even silk. This is a polyester printed tank in black and white. It does have an interesting back on it. I think the W118 is a lower end line produced by Walter Baker, but yeah, it was the bins. This is super lightweight. You know I wanted to try it out. I was real excited about it. The comps don't look great. It's a tank top. I'm going to try to sell it. We'll see how it does. Next up is a Free People top. This is an extra small We The Free top. You can see it does have that high-low hemline. Some really cute modeled photos of this top. This has a velvet-like texture, but it also kind of looks uh, distressed. The edges are unfinished and I think it's really cute. It's free people which can sometimes do good and that's why I always pick it up when I find it at the bins and more free people. A free people bodysuit. Uh, I don't remember the name of this bodysuit. It did have a fun name to it though. This one feels like a cotton spandex blend. It's a size small free people. Can you see that lace-up detail? in the front. It's pretty sexy. The modeled pictures were really cute on this one. And that one does have quite a bit of attention in my Poshmark closet. I have one pair of denim, just a couple more tops, and then we're moving on to the dresses and jackets. Okay, I shared all of the denim that I picked up in Tucson in a prior video. All of those videos are linked in the description box below, guys. I have a playlist for everything that I picked up in Tucson. These had a stain on them, which I was able to remove that stain, and I forgot to add them to the rest of the denim, and I almost forgot about them, to be honest with you. I put them in a basket, and this was such a fun find. L'agence. L'agence, which means the agency. If you need to say it in English, just say the agency. These are a size 27. What are these called? These are called the Serena High Rise Crop Baby Flare. So yeah, they're kind of in a gray color, uh, super cute denim and actually the comps on these look pretty good. I just picked them up. I didn't run comps at the bins. I know this is a good brand that usually resells well and it looks like these jeans resell for anywhere between $50 and $65. This was one of my favorite denim finds from this trip. And the last couple tops that I have to share with you, this is just a sheer cream colored lace top by Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's a size large, uh, needs something under it, I would say. I don't know if this was a good pickup. It's very lightweight. This one is a brand I love to pick up. I've had a lot of luck selling this brand. This is Fresh Produce. Now, from a distance, doesn't this look like animal print? It's actually a floral print. More floral than animal print, or leaf print maybe. Fresh Produce size extra large, 100% cotton made in the USA. There is a following for this brand, so I do like to pick it up. I even pick this one up in smaller sizes because it sells regardless of the size. This is a 100% pure wool jacket by the brand Sandro. I've never found this brand Sandro out in the wild. I'm guessing this is a vegan leather and guys, it does have, can you see right there? It's got a little nick out of the leather there. It does have pockets on it. And this is a zip front jacket, fully lined. Okay, and I didn't find this until I was photographing. If you look right there, right there, it's a little moth hole. I went ahead and listed it, and I listed it on the low end of comps because of the flaws and also because of the season. Okay, here is the perfect example of an item that I would only pick up at the bins, and I'm happy to pick up at the bins. This is Chico's, and this is an older tag Chico's. 
what size are you? I don't remember. Size two, which is like a size 10 or 12. This is a white cotton eyelet button front jacket. I can sell these usually around $20. Chico's does sell on both Poshmark and eBay. The problem is my thrift stores mark Chico's up like this is designer. So I never purchase Chico's at the thrift store, but I will pick it up all day long at the bins if I if it's in good shape and I think I can sell it. I think I can sell that one. Now this one, I actually thought about just giving to my mother. This is a Chico's Traveler open uh, slinky cardigan. It's a little bit smaller. I think this is Chico size one, which is like a size medium, an eight ten. I think I don't. I don't have their size chart memorized, guys. But this is what this one looks like. My mom didn't want it. She really doesn't need it <laughs> since I started reselling. She has more clothes than she can possibly ever wear. This one is super cute, guys. This is 100% linen. This is a lightweight jacket. Is it's. Uh, tan and white. It's striped. You can see it does have almost like a rope-like drawstring there. This is soft surroundings. It's a size extra large. It's in marvelous condition. does have a uh, rope also, the drawstring, where you can kind of cinch that drop waist if you choose. So that one is great for the spring season. And here's another soft surroundings that was really difficult to photograph. This is a knit. This is a sweater and it does have some distressing, I would say, and I say distressing by it has the exposed seams and unfinished edges like that. Does have some kind of floppy pockets again with the unfinished seams on it. I think this one is super cute. I think it would be it would sell much quicker with a modeled photo. It was difficult because it's slouchy to photograph. And the size on this one is a large, extra large. Next piece is a robe. This is a 100% cotton robe. The belt was still attached, the matching belt. This is by World Market and it's a one size, which I don't believe it's a one size. I did include the measurements. I think this would best fit a size large. It's really really lightweight and it doesn't have pockets. You know what I think this would be great for? I think this would be great for the pool or when you're getting out of the hot tub. You guys know I bought my husband a hot tub for Christmas and yeah, I think this would be perfect for that. I don't sell a whole lot of world market, but yeah, at the bins, I'm happy to try it out. Okay, this is a brand I hear lots of people raving about this brand, and I haven't been that lucky with it. This is the gold label Victoria's Secret. This is the vintage Victoria's Secret. This is really cute. 100% cotton sleep shirt in really, really nice condition. A little crochet lace on the sleeve and also on that chest pocket. Now, one of the things I did notice is that it's missing one button down here. And I did not replace that button because it is the last button and these buttons are cloth covered, if you can see that right there. I'd have to remove all of them and replace with a neutral button. I think this is really cute. I expect to get probably about $20 for this. I know there's people that are able to just rake in the dough with this vintage Victoria's Secret, but I haven't had that luck. Did I mention this is a size medium large? Okay, I don't know if the same person owned both of these. It is quite possible because look, look, these match so nicely, don't they? And the sizes are similar. This robe is a size medium, and this is a medium large, and this would look lovely together, right? You're looking at almost the identical tag, vintage, gold label, Victoria's Secret. This one, size medium, green, belt attached. Matching belt was attached. That's so rare at the bins, guys, and I usually will leave a robe behind if it doesn't have the matching belt. Now, you could add a ribbon, but it's great when you can find it with its original belt. This one does have pockets, and it's in marvelous condition. No flaws on this. This is not silk. It is 100% polyester, and again, I think that I can probably get anywhere from $25 to $35 on this robe, even though it's in great condition and it's vintage, 
it just doesn't move for me like uh, for others. So you know I love this dress, right? I love this dress. I think it is so pretty. My favorite color is red. I'm always looking to find red clothes to wear. This is Banana Republic. This is a size large. This is a tall. This dress is made for a tall woman. I wore this dress to my niece's baby shower. Guys, it was really too long for me. When a dress is designed for a taller woman, it generally has a longer sleeves as well as the longer length. The sleeves were too long for me. I'm five foot seven and this was definitely a maxi dress for me, but this is such a pretty dress. After wearing it one time, I knew that I would not wear it again unless I actually had the sleeves tailored to fit me, which I'm not gonna do. I am selling this one. And this is a really cute dress too. This is International Concepts, which is a Macy's house brand. It's a size 14. Look how cute this is. This is a denim, stretch denim, a snap front dress looks like this in marvelous condition and it actually just steamed up so nicely too. I appreciate denim that responds well to a steamer. You guys know sometimes they just don't uh, work as well as you would like them to. Okay, this is a brand I steer away from. I do pick up the larger sizes in this brand. This is Lucky Brand, it's a size 2X and it's a dress. I wish it was quintessential Lucky Brand, more boho with some embroidery on it, but that's not what I found. I found this t-shirt-like dress with the tie detail on the side, kind of a cap sleeve in a plus size, so I did decide to bring this one home. It's in perfect condition. Okay, this is a new to me brand. I don't, I don't know. Let me know if you have ever seen or sold this brand Hot Tempered. Do not be afraid. Don't be afraid, it says on that tag. This is a 3X polyester spandex dress with kind of a kimono sleeve, v-neck, and tie-back waist. I like the print on this dress. So if I like it, it generally comes home with me. And I love this dress, guys. I am so mad at myself that I am no longer a size 8 because this is a dress I would really want to wear. I have some really cute spring dresses coming up. This one is Calvin Klein. It's a size 8. This is rayon, and this responded very well to a steamer as well. That surplus neckline. This is a faux wrap maxi dress. Some really pretty modeled photos. This dress has beautiful movement. I was happy to find this dress. Even though it's Calvin Klein, I couldn't leave it behind because I think it's really cute. And this one is very similar in color. This one is a seafoam green and it has a built-in bra. That's what I'm fixing right now is this built-in bra. So this one reminds me of the outdoor brands like Mountain Hardware and Patagonia. Um, name a few guys. You know what I'm talking about? Like that you would wear a dress like this. Hiking, really pretty uh, pattern and color on this one. Never sold this brand. Tahami, size large. It feels really, really nice too. So I thought I'd give that one a go. Okay. I think this dress is beautiful. This is such a beautiful dress. It is very, very well made. All of the little details on this dress are so impressive to me. I'm a lover of dresses. This is a Lafayette 148 and it's a size six. And I actually find that this brand does much better in larger sizes. This dress is just like new. It's a navy blue with a really small like green and white pinstripe through it. This dress is called the Penelope dress. It does have pockets and it's got that faux wrap detail, a hidden zipper on the back in marvelous condition. I am going to try to sell this myself. This is a brand that really moves quickly for me on the real real, but I wanna try to sell it myself. So I'm gonna try that, we'll see how it goes. Okay, this one actually has some attention. So hopefully it sells quickly. This is a Stitch Fix brand, 41 Hawthorne. And this is a size large, little black dress. This, I I'll tell you what, people love 
to buy black clothing, but it is so hard to sell because it's hard to a photograph. It's hard to make these black pieces look their very best, but people love them. This dress is like a faux wrap dress. I don't know if you can see that by Stitch Fix and it's in marvelous condition. When I find these Stitch Fix brands, 41 Hawthorne is a recognized brand on Poshmark, but I always use Stitch Fix in the title and the description because some people are just searching for Stitch Fix clothing. Now this dress, guys, this dress fooled me. Look at that. In the bins, you already know what I thought it was and I was pulling, pulling, pulling. Let me see. This dress is in great condition. Not only is it in great condition, it has, I'll pull it out right here. There's a slip dress as a liner underneath and that was still attached. This is not a Masoni piece, but it's still a good piece. This is Maeve, which is anthropology. I do fine with this brand. This one is an extra small. It's definitely oversized with a drop waist. This one's called the West Water Knit Dress. Beautiful modeled photos, which of course, anthropology always has pretty great modeled photos. I couldn't find a modeled photo for this dress. And I find that modeled photos for this brand sell much quicker than my photos. This is Bowden. And what size? I forgot what size. This is a US size eight and it's long. Uh, looks like this. This is made out of tensile and it feels really nice. A lot of Bowden dresses are made out of really nice fabrics. This is a short sleeve. It's kind of got a drape neck on it. It's a scoop drape neck. There is a detail right here, just kind of a gathering at the waistline. This is a midi length dress with a print on it. Really cute. This is, this might be one of my favorite dresses guys. And I mean, it's not going to make me a whole lot of money. I just love the way this dress looks. I love bright colors. I think this one is very bohemian looking. And this particular style with the bit of a drop waist but not going all the way down to the hips is almost universally flattering. This is Staring at Stars, which is Urban Outfitters. It's a small size, right? It's size medium. Uh, I love these colors. I think these colors can be worn year round. What do you think? It's kind of blue and purple. It's got a lot of orange in it, which I think is fun and cheerful. And I was excited to find that one. This one, I wish, well, I mean, the holidays were over. I didn't find this until February. Look at this sequin dress. This one is called Liquid Shine. Look at that. Oh, the movement on this dress is stunning. 100% sequin, all over sequins on this dress. This is what size are you? Medium size, free people. It does have a really large keyhole. You can see that in the back. And then just a hook and eye closure. This one is so pretty as well. I'm telling you, the free people was in the bins on the couple days that I was there. This is one of those active dresses that I was talking about. This was kind of a fun find because I've never found a dress by this brand. It's a Patagonia. It's a size small. Patagonia. I've heard people say that the clothing uh, dresses and whatnot for Patagonia do not do as well as their fleeces, but yeah, it's the bins. Of course I'm going to try it. And guys, I didn't give much thought to bringing this one home either. I did check it over because it is white to make sure that it didn't have any big ugly stains on it and it, uh, it checked out okay. This is Zara Trafalic and it has all these just fun patches on it. It's a size small and it is an older tag, but I thought it was kind of fun and I decided to bring it home. I like this dress a lot. This is a petite size dress, but I think it's so cute. I had to get it anyway. Petite size clothing moves slower than any other size clothing that I have in my closet. Look at this fringe detail on the bottom of the dress. This is 100% cotton, more fringe at the top. This is Holding Horses, which is an anthropology brand. And this one is a size two petite. It's like new. It's in really remarkable condition, probably worn once, I'm guessing. Um, I know I have several dresses that I own that I have not worn twice. 
This one is Lulu's and this one was a bear to steam, to be honest with you. This is Lulu's and it's a size large. Tell me what color this is, guys. It's almost, I called it peach, but it's like a, it's like peach or tan. It's a peplum dress with lots of lace and ruffles. And it does have a really nice substantial elastic waistband. Decided to bring that one home. Okay, this next piece, guys, was probably a big mistake. This is a jumpsuit, a romper, I should say. A strapless romper. Look at that front. It's got that little cutout in it. And it, this does have the silicone right here to help keep the top in place. It has a zip back. It's got a really short, like, one and a half inch inseam and it's got color bleed. It's got color bleed pretty bad if you can see it there. I don't know, my lights might be washing it out. Now you're not gonna see that color bleed when you're wearing it more than likely, but yeah, that was really disappointing and it's got it other places too. So it's almost like this would need to be dry cleaned, but I don't know if anything can be done about the color bleeding that's already there. This is H&M. And H&M Conscience, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, guys. It, just trust me, it's H&M, it's a size 12. These don't comp that high to begin with. These have sold on Poshmark anywhere between $12 and $20. I brought it home and I do have it listed and we'll see how that goes. Okay, another free people that I don't remember the name for, but it's got some cool name. This is a size zero and this is like an overall skirt with ex it's denim and it's got that exposed front fly patch pockets and a really kind of interesting let me show you the front front on it um so yeah i got that one we're almost to the end guys and i do have a grand finale so stick around i think these are absolutely precious this is bdg Urban Outfitters, and this is a size large. This is like a lightweight chambray overall uh, romper. Buttons on the side and pockets on the front. Really cute modeled photos. I was happy to find this one. So that's it, guys. That is everything that I am selling that I picked up in Tucson. But I, here's my grand finale. This is a dress that you may have seen before because it's been hanging on my rack as I've been kind of going back and forth, what should I do with this dress? And I kind of hinted in my comments that I had found another Veronica Beard, and here it is. This is Veronica Beard, and you see it still has this tag thing on it. I should have taken that off because I actually wore this, guys. This is Veronica Beard, size extra large. I have not even looked up the comps on this because I wanted to wear Veronica Beard. I just wanted to see what it felt like to wear Veronica Beard. I had a friend that just this past weekend renewed her marriage vows, her wedding vows in the park, her 20 years. Uh, she celebrated 20 years by just reenacting their wedding and recommitting. And I thought, this is perfect, right? I had a little uh, wool tan kind of blazer that I wore over this and I actually wore some tan snake print combat boots with this. I'm gonna keep this for a little bit. This will eventually end up in my Poshmark closet because I don't tend to re-wear or wear out any dresses. Did I have fun wearing this? Yes, I did. It has a bit of a tiered skirt on it and a short sleeve. It has a zip on the side, a zip closure, and it's also got some clear snaps. I mean, this one, guys, this felt was so much fun to wear this, and I found two Veronica Beard dresses in the bins. I don't remember what the size, I think the other one was a size large. It was, I don't think it was even the same donor, so yeah, this is mine. This is one of the 20 pieces that I am not selling. I'm keeping it for now. So guys, uh, that's it. That is my haul. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you enjoyed the haul, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done that. For those of you that have been curious where I have been, I have been fine. I just want to put that out there. Things have been very busy and kind of crazy around here. I have been working on my 400 in February listing challenge. I did not hit
hit the 400 mark. I hope I haven't let you down. I got really close, so I feel great about that. I will give you all the details on that challenge in an upcoming video. You guys, uh, I take care of my mother, and my mother had a few health concerns in February. So I had to handle those things for her and she's doing fine. She's doing fine, but when my mom has any type of health issues, I, I panic a little bit, not outwardly, but inwardly I start questioning how much more time will I have with my mom and then I just double up on the time that I am spending with her and that's kind of what's happened. It always takes me a little while to adjust to my mother's degenerating disease. Uh, it seems like she takes a turn for the worst and I get scared and I learn how to deal with that and then we have some smooth sailing and then inevitably there will be another decline that I will have to kind of wrap my head around and uh, get used to. And guys, I have to tell you this, you my viewer, yes, you that are listening or watching right now, you are such a bright spot for me in the seasons of my life where I get to share my thrift finds and my online fashion reselling business with you. It's kind of the most fun thing that I do. Don't get me wrong, I have a lot of fun with my mother, but this is kind of my thing where I get to share something that I'm really passionate with like-minded people and I cannot thank you enough for being here. I thank you for your patience and your understanding. I have a lot more videos planned and God willing, I will get them filmed and share them with you. You're awesome. I We'll see you very soon in the next video. Blessings to all of you.